Hi guys, uh, welcome to Naresh IT. This is Sudhakar. And uh, today in this session, we will discuss about the next language of SQL that is DQL or DRL, okay? Data Query Language, otherwise Data Retrieving Language, we also called, okay? So now you can see uh, the last two videos, uh, we discuss about DDL and DML operations and now we will discuss DQL operation, okay? So DQL or DRL, even though we will call this is DRL also we can call no problem. So, data query language, otherwise data retrieving language, okay. So, this language, okay, we have only one command, cell command, but the cell command how to use, we will discuss now, okay. So, now, okay, the third sub language of SQL here. So, we will see now uh, working with DQL or else DRL command, okay. So, now uh, we will go to discuss here. So, DQL or DRL command, okay, this command we will be used, the DQL command we will be used, the first reason we are using for the simple I can say reading. So, reading data, read data, otherwise even though we can say retrieve data. So, whenever read and retrieve or else even though we can say display data. So, whenever you want to retrieve the data from the table otherwise retrieving the data from the table, otherwise display the table data on the screen, then I can use this select command, okay. So, this command, okay, by using this command, the only one command was there, that command is called as a select and by using this command, what we will do means, we will perform the three operations, okay. So, read, reading data or retrieving data or displaying the data. So, any one you can use for the same purpose, I can use it this. Okay, so this is the purpose of your select. Clear? Now, this select command, if I want to use, uh, okay, then before I want to use my select command, I have a small syntax here. Okay, the syntax I am going to give now. Okay, what is the syntax means? Select star. A star was represented all columns in the table. Okay, so in place of star, otherwise, even though we can see list of columns, even though you can give the list of column names simple I can say okay. So, you can give star otherwise list of column names okay from and you can which table which table do you want to retrieve the table you just give it. So, table name and here this is my additional condition. So, where condition I can use okay. So, whenever I want to perform or retrieve a specific records from the table then I can use this where condition. So, where condition I can use it like this. Okay, so now this is a small syntax, okay, the select command how to use and how to retrieve the data from your table with and without conditions. So, with without condition, the both way I can use this query syntax, okay. Let us see some examples we will discuss, okay, on this command, then you will be get some idea. So, now I will go to SQL Server uh, 2014 Management Studio, okay, and later as it is, you just uh, connect it to your server. Okay, I just connected, okay. So, after connected to take new query option, the query option I am taking now, uh, which is used to write your queries or commands, okay. And later you just go to databases folder, I just expand here. So, now, okay. So, now I will create my own database again, one more, okay. Okay, uh, so now we will go to SQL Server Management Studio and I just connected to your SQL Server and later connected to SQL Server then you just go to your databases folder but as of now there is no databases in my SQL Server. So, now I am going to create, okay. So, one new database I am going to create here. So, now you just come out and see this, there is no databases in this folder, okay. So, now I will be create one new database and I hope that you people will know how to create a new database in my server, okay. So, now I am going to create now to create a database first of all. So, create database and now I am going to take here my database name is, okay, my class. So, my class and I am going to take here to create one database now. Then command was completed successful and later you just come out and refresh your databases folder and to check. So, now database was created, okay. So, after created my database, then 
Now I am going to select the database that because uh, before I want to retrieve my data first of all I want to create a table and insert some data into the table and later you just call ok. But before that I just use my database whatever I created. So, in which database I have to save my table or views whatever I want to create it here that I can save it ok. So, now use my class database here I just go to select it now. So, after selected your my class then I am going to create one small table. So, I am creating a small table, create table, my table name is student and with column I am passing your student ID, student name, the data type is just a send and later the student fee I am setting here decimal, I want to send 6 comma 2 and uh, age I am going to sending simply. So, tiny int you just take age, it is enough and later I am going to insert it here to execute now. So, first I was create a database and the database I was use and later, later I just go to create at my table. After design or create your table then what I want to do into this table you just come out and refresh my class database and you can see this. So, go to tables and now you have a table was created successfully in my database ok. So, this is my table. After that into this table I am going to inserting some data now. So, I just come to insert by using graphical manner I just go to edit to top 200 rows option you just come and click on there. Once I was click on here then I can go to insert some records I am going to insert it here ok. Now, you can see this. So, for example, 101 the student name is Adams the student fee was 2500 age 23. Like 102 the student name is uh, Scott ok and 36 and it was taken 25. 103 and uh, now I will take your James ok. So, 45 and now the age was 24. So, assume like this I was inserted some records ok and uh, later I just go to execute now. So, once executed the data was inserted into my table and later. After that what I want to do if I want to call my table. So, simply if I want to display otherwise a retrieve otherwise a read the data from the table then I will be using here my command was. So, which command I am using means select command I am going to use. So, I am using here select command. So, select star from the table name is what now student. Okay. So, once I will execute this query then what is happen you can see. I just selected this query and to execute it now then what are the table information ok and in the table what kind of information was there that information completely I am going to display on the screen. So, now this is my retrieving data from student table by using select statement. But what I said here when I was use star, star is represent all columns star is represent all columns ok. So, otherwise in place of star even though I can go to use like uh, s t i d comma s name comma s fee comma next uh, age. So, from your table name student. So, even though you can give it now ok because star is represent all columns in the table. So, instead of star I was taken my column names. So, once I will execute this query to execute now and see same output will be display the output was not uh, different yes or no. So, this is what it is here I just displayed all students details ok from my table. This is what now without condition. So, I did not use without your condition. So, this is called without condition I was taken, but when you executed your select statement without condition ok then all information will be at a time it will be retrieving and displaying. But next level what it is here I do not want it ok uh, without condition. So, uh, that means whatever the records I got it now. So, all records in the table I do not want it all records to display otherwise to retrieve otherwise to read ok. Instead of that the based on conditional records only I can retrieve. So, whenever you want to go the specific records ok do you want to retrieve from a table then I can go to use. Uh, so, what I want to use here I am going to using my where keyword condition I will be perform. So, now I am going to using where keyword condition like I just called for example, in out of 3 students I want to display Scott 
okay which student name is scott the scott details i want to display for that purpose i am going to write in here select a star from okay my student table and here i should be use a where condition where what i want to say s name is equals to scott if i use scott then out of three students okay the whose name scott that person information only we are retrieved from your table okay so now i just got it here only one student information that student name is scott okay but this student scott okay the scott entire information that means the scott student id number name and their fee and age details so why i am getting your all columns about your scott means because i was used here what now star so i already said to you star is nothing but it represented all columns so otherwise in place of star if you want to know or retrieve the some specific columns if you want to take for example i want to take uh, this student id and the student fee i want to take from my table name is student and same where condition i was given like uh, s name is equals to scott okay so once i will execute and now now this time what it is happened which columns did you mention in the query those columns data only we are getting so now this time i am getting your student id and student uh, fee okay so this is what now with the conditional how to retrieve the data from the table without condition okay so you have the two sections and two parts we divide here one is this is called a without condition i am going to retrieving my data okay and the second one what it is here with the condition i am going to retrieve the data okay so with and without conditions you can use when you want to retrieve the data by using select statement so this is select operation in dql language simply you can use to retrieving purpose okay so this is the way of select query you can use like this but you remember one thing uh, when you want to work with your select statement okay so basically the select statement i said you are read retrieve and display i said okay but the whatever the data are you retrieving from your tables okay the retrieving purpose the select that means your select statement having a three methods i have it okay so how to retrieve your data from the table means the retrieving methods are there now so retrieving or retrieve methods methods okay uh, i am going to use here some methods the what kind of methods are there you can check now okay so by using select command the user can retrieve the data in three methods you can retrieve okay so in this my first one i can go for my first one what it is here projection method is one method okay so and later i will go the second method is also there that is called a selection method okay third one one more very important thing it is okay so that is called a joins okay so that means uh, by using select a statement i can retrieve the information in three ways one is projection way selection way and uh, joins but what is the differences between projection selection and joins means here observe the first one i can call here projection so projection is nothing but simple i can say so the projection is nothing but so whenever the user retrieved the data without a condition so without condition once you want to retrieve once you want to retrieve the data from the table then it is called a projection method so without condition means uh, just now we discuss so these are the two queries now you can see either these two queries you can write okay so uh, these two queries whatever we discuss here okay now i'm going to take your example now you can see these two examples comes under okay projection method okay so without the condition i was retrieving my information from the table okay so this is called a projection method without condition i was retrieved my data from the table and the second method was there that is called a selection method selection method it's nothing but what we can say now so when the same information once you want to retrieve the based on the condition level okay or based on the condition then i can say it was a selection method so now here already we discuss some examples how to use my conditions along with the select query so now i just come out to take here okay so i am sending some examples now 
So, these examples what we discuss, okay, these examples comes under selection method. So, selection method means with conditional retrieving the data and without conditional retrieving the data we called a projection method, okay. So, now finally, uh, one more method was there and this was very important in real time the people mostly we are using in the applications that we called as a joins. Now, but joins why should I want to use? I think you people will know the joins, okay, very often we are using in our applications, okay. So, here are the two methods whatever we discuss, okay, the projection method and selection method. By using these two methods, I can retrieve my information from the table, okay, I said, but how many tables, okay, data I can retrieve means these two methods we are using to retrieve your information from a single table. Okay. So, a single table through you can retrieve your information then you can use this, but more than one table otherwise multiple tables if you want to retrieve my information then projection and selection methods are not suitable. For this reason okay, the people when they want to go to retrieve information from multiple tables then I can use what now joins mechanism. So, joins mechanism we are going to using the data. So, retrieve the data from more than one table I can say. So, whenever you want to go to retrieving your information from more than one table then it is and it was used what we can use means joins, okay. So, by using joins you can go to take your information from multiple tables, okay. But this joins concept before you want to know, first of all you have to know that some basic information about your SQL language, okay, the basic concepts are we required because if you go to directly to write a joins queries, you cannot understand, okay. So, before you want to understand the what it was happened in the query execution process, first of all you have to know the what kind of basics are required when I want to work with my joins. Okay. So, that all basics first we can discuss one by one and later finally, I will show you what exactly joins and joins how to use on multiple tables when you want to retrieve your information. Okay. So, that what kind of the requirements are needed for joins those requirements we will see in the next video session. Okay. So, I hope that this session will be enjoyed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.